Kara, will these FDA approvals for vaccines be the game changer for to getting those unvaccinated people to get those shots? Well, a lot of these employers are thinking so. There's been, you know, surveys showing that more people will be willing to be vaccinated because they were hesitant uh, that the shots hadn't had full FDA approval. And now that this is expected to bolster confidence. And, yeah, as you said, you've already seen some more companies fall into line and, and issue mandates, notably Goldman Sachs yesterday and CVS. And um, Delta came out today and is doing its own form of uh, not quite a mandate, but a penalty for workers who will have to pay a $200 monthly surcharge if they don't get a vaccine, which is certainly, you know, sort of something of a punitive measure. So uh, I think more employers are being emboldened and perhaps the idea that um, this can help get more vaccines out there. And so after the full approval of the Pfizer shot, how far away are we from full approval when it comes to the booster shot and also the Moderna vaccine as well? So the Moderna uh, came out today and said it's completed its application process for full approval, um, which, you know, sort of puts it in line. The FDA, these types of things typically would take about eight months, but the FDA has really fast-tracked these approvals, and so they're hoping, you know, maybe it can be done in about half the time. Uh, separately today, in terms of boosters, Johnson & Johnson had, came out with data saying that its single-dose shot, uh, a second dose of that significantly increased antibodies to COVID-19, so that kind of further adds to the case that there should be a booster shot. Uh, for J&J, &J, so that's something FDA officials will also consider. In the meantime, it seems like we're no closer to getting any more clarity on the origins of the virus. Uh, that's right. Uh, today we had a group of scientists um, charged by the World Health Organization to study the origins, come out and sort of pleading for support. They had gotten criticism, you know, for uh, allegedly, you know, failing to investigate the lab leak theory enough. So. Um, you know, they're sort of issuing an urgent plea that, that they need support and the window of opportunity is closing fast because the longer time goes by, you know, the, the more difficult it is to gather evidence and, and get clear answers about how the pathogen emerged.